everyone. I'm going to show you guys how to properly clean your seashells. We are going to be turning this giant magnificent volute into a brand new shell. Super dirty, let's get straight into it. So here are all of the equipment items that you need. Obviously you need your shell, then you need some sort of rag or anything like that. You need a mask, you need some protective gloves, you need some tongs, some bleach, a little bit of water, and a Dremel tool. This is just one from like a nail salon, so something small. So the first step into restoring this giant shell here is we're going to be taking all of that dirt out, just sort of giving it a, a rinse off over the top. So what we're going to do here is just grab our rag. It's like dripping out of dripping dirt out everywhere, so we've got to take care of that. What I'm going to do is just get that wet a bit and sort of scrape it all out here. Just give it a nice clean. Be careful. Get all that gunk out as much as you can. It's not going to come off easy with the water itself, but that's all right. We're just doing that as a starter just to make it look a bit more pretty. All right, that's about as best as I could do it really quickly. Just giving it a quick little makeover here. So as you can see also, the lip here is damaged a lot. So that's what we're gonna be using the Dremel tool for later down the line in the video. What I also forgot to mention about using bleach to clean your seashells is it is very recommended to do it outside on grass or something because bleach can basically ruin your carpet, ruin your clothes, that sort of thing. So let's head outside and start cleaning up this shell and I'll talk to you guys a bit more about what we're cleaning exactly. So once you've filled a bucket up with water, this is the smallest one I had. It doesn't have to be this big, it just has to hold the entire shell underwater just like that. So once you've done that, what we're basically trying to do is get all of this stuff off here. This is like grime that builds up over time of being in the water, sort of like mold sort of stuff. So that's what we're trying to get off by leaving it in the bleach water. So that's what we'll do right now. So you're going to want to do this, depending on how bad that sort of gunk is, will depend on how long you have to leave it in. I'll probably leave this shell in here for about four hours bleach will not destroy the shell no matter how long you leave it in so you're really not risking anything by oh I forgot my gloves definitely wear gloves okay you do not want bleach on your skin it stings very very bad so just be safe wear your gloves and a uh, mask oh, I need my mask <laughs> okay I've got my mask and my safety gloves on let's add the bleach to the mixture. <laughs> Holy. Don't breathe that in. <laughs> so what you're gonna wanna do is just mix it around a bit, but be safe with it. You know, don't get it on your clothes or anything. I wouldn't recommend putting your hand in there and swishing it around, it's bleach. So yeah, now we will leave that in there for about four hours, come back and check on how it's doing. Then we'll start doing step three. So it's been about five hours now. It is dark time now. Let's take it out of the box. It's looking pretty good so far if you want to get a close up on it. Pretty uh, clear. Now I've got my gloves on, so should be all right. Wow, look at that. That's completely taken all of the grit off. See like that stuff there, you can just sort of rub off with your fingers. That's just incredible. Alrighty, let's take this inside for step three or four. Alrighty, it's now out of the bleach and check it out. Let's take a closer look at it. It's just incredible now. Super nice. So what we're going to do now is, so every now and then you'll still see the little parts that are stuck on there. All we have to do with that is just dry it off. Pretty much just wipe it down, get it all dry. It's so shiny now. Look at that inside as well. 
super shiny, no more dirt. See, all that dirt that I sort of took off earlier has just disappeared. That's why I barely wiped it off earlier. But see, like, there's a piece in the corner there. You can just wipe that off. Just give it a nice little clean. And now we'll start the Dremel process. What we're going to be doing is pretty much shaving all these broken edges down so it's all one sort of neat lip. Let's do it. After we had sort of shaved down the lip here, it looks so much better, it feels so much better. It's not got any pointy ridges short or sharp pieces. So it's come out really, really nice and it looks kind of like an original lip. So right now we are onto the last and final step. So I forgot to add this in the beginning of the video when we were going through what we needed. But the last thing we need is mineral oil or baby oil. It's the exact same thing. Again, you can buy these at like Coles or Walmart or anything like that. So what we're going to be doing for this is, because it's a much bigger shell, we're going to need a lot more. What we're going to be doing is wiping the entire shell down with this stuff. Watch what happens. You see that? Isn't that incredible? So this stuff will stay on there for quite some time, maybe a month or two, and stay shiny like this. And it'll also protect the colors of the shell. Just look at that difference. That is so incredible to look at when it fades across there. That is so cool. It's like the best part of it. So you want to add as much as you want, really. You can't put like 10 layers on, on it, obviously, because it'll just be drenched. So you only want enough on there where it'll just sit on top. It's all right if it gets on your fingers. It's not poisonous or toxic or anything. It's baby oil. So, of course, it's not going to be. But that, it is going to be a bit slimy for a couple of days, but it's going to protect the colors and make it shine just like this. How incredible is that? I'll put a photo up on screen of what it was like before we started the video. That is just incredible. I got this one as a gift from my mate Jack. Thank you, Jack. It is dripping there. We did add a bit too much. But I just can't, but I love seeing that that first fade where we were adding the baby oil right at the start. That was so awesome. So yeah, I hope that helped you guys. And if you did enjoy the video and if you did manage to clean up your shells, subscribe to the channel. It would be appreciated. And I post my shelling videos basically every single day. That is just incredible. Let's get some of the inside lip here as well. There we go. Look at that. The entire thing is shiny. That's incredible. That is so much better than I thought it was going to be. Awesome. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. This is going straight into my collection somewhere here. See you later.